Hi everyone and welcome back to my video um, here month of uh, August of um, 2023. <laughs> I just made a video a couple of days ago and I got a huge, huge big backlash. I mean of course from that kind of uh, uh, from the ether um, and I know that not so many people are watching uh, my videos uh, but again another video got um, uh, um, got uh, moved out or how you say that uh, another one of my videos was taken down uh, so it's, it's it's interesting because uh, I guess these guys <laughs> these guys they're really watching or you know what's the DARPA um, it's especially like the military and when I am um, kind of mentioning the sexual abuse there, right? All these sex games, uh, it's a very sensitive topic there. And we're dealing with directed energy weapons, psychotronic weapons, and, you know, with the star seeds, I mean, we're being highly well activated either for our mission, but also, you know, we can reach, um, uh, like we can sense so many things and uh, multi-dimensionally right even from that anti-particle world right with our anti-particle chakras so um, again this is very interesting very sensitive not that many people understand that so I also understand why there are not that many you know viewers and but I want to teach about the exopolitics and about the agenda of those negative uh, negative ones negative aliens um, um, to, it has to do like with me being a, from that kind of warrior races, um, but more of that spiritual nature, right, with the spiritual warriors here and uh, aligned with the law of one, right, that's why we're here, we represent the Astro Galactic Command and yeah, we're helping humanity with the transition, uh, with the um, the whole transformation of okay, this Troika, especially in the military, right, I mean this whole training and boot camps, I mean, that all needs to be changed. It all needs to be harmonized and recalibrated, and you know, needs to become quantum. Um, those guys on the ground, right? Because there's another story from a marine. Uh, you know, it's uh, the the way they're being taught uh, regarding wars and what was going on there, right, in Afghanistan, and you know, this whole ending of you know the evacuation from the Afghanistan, how they got hit. Um, you know, this all needs to be um, just kind of uh, addressed as well because we're dealing with uh, aliens. They're highly advanced technology, right? And those guys, they still think that they're fighting for uh, this country. But the um, yeah, we're dealing with all kinds of ETs, alien races, you know, abductions because um, you know the Congress was contacted by them right and then of course uh whether it was already in 30s 1930s and then in 50s right uh, you also have uh, the assemblance of uh, military industrial complex and darpa and all these kind of things and they're using highly advanced technology and actually it's for destruction of humanity and you can see how um you know the, the world's been impacted by it and um what else? It's just not the way to go, you know, uh, the even, you know, the resurrecting the constitution of 1776 is extremely important because people think those guys in the military, they're like fighting for this country, but that is U.S. corporation, right? So with this uh, original constitution being suspended. And then, uh, of course, the whole Marine Corporation, right? It means you guys, you are owned by the well the cabal the black magicians right i don't know if i can talk much about this kind of stuff there's the reptilian hierarchy there's the hierarchy of the illuminati and of course we also talk about um you know with the draco the anunnaki like i said but the um chimera group i mean the arachnoid kind of beings right that uh uh, all this, um, they were in these underground, um, whether military bases or all these tunnels, right? And um, all this kidnapping of children because uh, they need to get loose. They're living off of our energies, of, your, of our chakras, aura. So the protection is very important. Uh, the 12D shielding, I have the Guardian Ascension Protocol for, you know, warriors. I mean, uh, uh, star warriors, uh, indigo races um, for... Um, you know, those who came here to make a difference, uh, the Christos Templars, right? I mean, the, uh, the Essenes, I mean, uh, those who, um, 
uh, of course, you know, some of them were actually um, converted, um, right, uh, for those uh, black projects, you know, the PSYOPs, the covered military operations, and um, I really don't even know where to start and like how to really talk about those kind of things. All I know that, again, I went to library and there are so many more hyperlinks, okay, so you can guys educate yourself um, about like what we are really awakening from and what we are healing, what we are addressing here, okay. And what in this whole direct programming, because you see the footages of Julian Assange there in Middle uh, Italy East, that's actually, to me, that's the result of those guys not being appropriately trained, but having all these implants, holographic inserts, right? And all these abuse there happening, especially your sexual energies and your chakras. And, you know, if you're raped and you're of that innocent nature and you're with this black magician, whether male or female, of that dracon nature, you get extremely polluted, you get extremely harmed. Uh, there's uh, STD going on, right? Um, parasites going on, your chakras are cannot be spinning properly, so you cannot get your consciousness going. And then there is this intoxication going on right and all these addictions and drugs and steroids and those uh, patented kind of um, um, mixtures there like a cocktail stuff right especially for the super soldiers and you know for the uh, um, kind of this dark operation it's all you know to me all I hear is you know DARPA 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 that's why I have the project for DARPA right like uh, I'm, I'm here we are here the galactic command here and the, the silence, you know, this is all being exposed, right? There are all these whistleblowers that actually, they went to congressional hearings, they're under oath, like I would not be under oath because I know the Bible, right, is also kind of uh, manufactured by the Archons, by the, um, you know, the Anunnaki. So it's, it's like there is infiltration, invasion, every feel or every move we're trying to make, right, toward ascension and healing and liberation. There's always something that we need to kind of um, analyze, right? And, you know, this infiltration is like everywhere. And so I cannot use this word here because that's why my video was taken taken out, uh, you know? And it's, let me see, this is the, yeah, this, this word, right? I cannot use it, okay? And it's just, um, and then of course, um, you know we have the the galactic codex so important um the um the, the military right they're aligning themselves with the law of one what goes around comes around i mean you know now we see the consequences of our actions we have to acknowledge them in order to heal and so this is very difficult right because there's lots of ego to me that's a uh, kind of patriarchal kind of misogyny kind of uh structure so you know, hopefully there'll be some veterans or someone like ready for me. I know there is a soul group um, and they were involved in those dark operations, terroristic organizations. Those are highly evolved souls, right? But this is all sensitive and just kind of very, mm, I can't even, I would say, classified topic, you know? So, um, but, you know, we'll see with you, all these energies and coming and surfacing and like with this young lady that I mentioned last time, right? Um, she's only 25 years old in a military, uh, she, she, well, U.S. Marine, right? U.S. Marine and so on. And she's facing, um, she's facing um, punishment. Let me see, oh, third F word court martial um, federal charges for, for trespassing for refusing to comply right so there was this thing here and then to separate herself from the marine force so where's the constitution of uh where's the um the original constitution of 1776 where is the declaration of independence where is it that you can really express your truth and especially when she had all the proof how these uh, th these things are actually counteractive right she was mentioning the fetal uh, anyway i cannot talk much i cannot talk about here okay this whole aborted babies and things like that what is being found there so 
uh, how in the world, you know, what is this all about? And uh, where, yeah, where are those white magicians, you know, counteracting those black magicians? Um, and uh, also, um, like I was uh, mentioning the other guy, right? The good Marines meeting the bad Marines and how they're uh, like admirals and they're in uniforms and there is no, like, there's no name, right? There's maybe some of the symbology that the military is used to to recognize. Uh, you guys, some of these guys, those are some of them are aliens, extraterrestrials, and also I want to mention there's all these bad uh, reputation about Adolf H, right, or even uh, uh, Saddam H Hussein, right? How they were horrible, horrible leaders, right? All I see that in their aura energy field, either being possessed, so, you know, they're pretty much directed from those native aliens, right, to, to do horrible things, um, right, especially when they're in high position, right, high-ranking high military officers and even uh, politicians and so on, because, you know, where's, where's, the, where's the Christ? Where, you have to be in Christ. You have to have uninterrupted connection to God, to source. These are 10-dimensional and, of course, Anunnaki, right? Those are 11-dimensional beings, okay? Or the, yeah, we've been fighting the Orion, the Orion here for, for so long from these uh, Orion uh, wars. So um, this is uh, ancient galactic cosmic history that we have to, yeah, so I, I know the surgeries, they're, they're, they're done for special operations, you know, those are from guys like that, okay? And um, I'm just kind of, um, I don't know, just putting it out there, uh, I gotta do what I gotta do, again, this is a very sensitive topic, but how in the world, right? Like I said, oh, this Anunnaki right here. Is this Anunnaki? Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. This is not Anunnaki. Yeah, all this man in black here, right? So th this is your, this is the shadow government with the shadow military, right? I mean, it's still kind of prevalent and still directed energy things going on. And uh, anyway, I just right now, I don't see the Anunnaki. So that, those are 11 dimension, right? So we're dealing with them with highly advanced technology. Okay, and those guys in the military, they're just kind of trained, right, with the, without this kind of knowledge or without really meditation, connection to their heart and to their inner Christos. Very important to start having spiritual boot camps. Those guys need to be deprogrammed. Also, all these veterans, right, missing limbs. There's technology to regrow organs, right? Um arms and legs so how come this is not introduced to those veterans there again what what's going on okay so so there is this there was this kind of disaster evacuation there in afghanistan this guy is also only 25 and um let me see just the stat that is statistic right 20 year conflict right that caused you know the the whole um we have to go to Iraq. America needs to go to Iraq because of the demolition, <laughs> planned demolition of those uh, towers there in New York City. Okay. Do you see how? Every, because it was to align us with artificial timelines, with the Armageddon software. Again, I have to go to library, or you can go on my um, project for DARPA, or it's just Armageddon um, soft uh, program. You know, you can Google that, what that is all about, okay? Essential glossary, release that already. But anyway, so so it cost $8 trillion. Uh, so we could have uh, magical gardens, uh, Zen gardens, right? Uh, yoga centers, meditation, right? Peace, right? So, so time to sign contracts with the Galactic Ashtar Command, right? Even Valiant Thor, the stranger at the Pentagon in the 50s, right? Dwight Eisenhower warning about the danger of military industrial complex. But those are these these guys, right? These the, the, the black budget is going to them, right? You know, with their highly advanced technology, spaceship, spacecraft, you know, 100 years in the future. Then it was 900,000 people died there and including 7,000 U.S. service members. Right. So 
So this guy evacuating, right, it was already August of 2021. Uh, this evacuation in Afghanistan and so on, they were doing their best. And I think they encounter, um, there was some kind of guy with suicidal bomb and so on. And they didn't even get instruction what to do about this guy. They caught him, they know what, uh, who is he in the crowd and so on. And um, those high ranking military officers, right? The answer was, we, we don't know, I don't know who is in charge, what to do now, what to do next okay and those guys were pretty much left there alone and uh, so many Afghanistan uh, Afghanistan people were blown up okay and he you know he saved his what one arm one leg right and he was blown up because he was trying to help uh, you know these Afghan um, people there with their children and uh, he just uh, talked about really a bad organization and um, you know hardly any communication so many of those guys i mean you know they're not only what well, the ptsd i mean trauma and so on but they are seeing these injustices right they are seeing drones right whether they call it allies who knows what is in those drones so, so some of them are just run those by the black cube technology or there are the dracos there they're not even run by humans right and shooting down here and killing innocent people so you know let me see so he was wounded there was the suicide by a uh, bombing at the gates of kabul airport and of course he lost his limbs and um this there was premeditated attack killed 60 afghanistan and 13 u.s service members so they were left there alone without really uh, proper um, leadership, right? And that's been noticing those guys, they enter military, they're supposed to be recruited and they even notice that the leadership or those uh, who are in those higher position of the recruitment, there is hardly any leadership, right? Look at their aura energy field, right? Those guys, they probably went through horrible training full of abuse, violence. And again, there is uh, lots of sexual abuse there. And they've been chipped they're all these nanobots study the nanotechnology you know this we have the holographic inserts but there's a module synthesis um lisa rini right how to really clean and cleanse yourself from all these harmful um infections and parasites that those implants are causing right again it's a superfood it's a diet drinking distilled water so that's again my guardian ascension protocol I, it was done to me, right? Um, and there's a star seed there. Um, he looks, um, anyway, I cannot talk much about it, but um, that was uh, a long time ago. It was almost 16, 16 years ago, maybe 17, 2007, 2008, right? Uh, you know that he's kind of a human, but he's got like a Zeta features, like a Nazi German, right? Blonde, blue eye, and all this kind of stuff. And um, uh, yeah, we are star seeds, and we are very close together as our as uh, soul siblings or soul mates, right? We are like brother and sister, but you know, he's he she he's a transgender. Of course, this is what they do with all these experimentations, and. Um, you know, Georgia, right? I cannot talk about the Georgia G stones, you know? And so these are underground tunnels. They go to uh, Montauk, right? Uh, New York, Montauk. And then there is a jump room to Mars, right? And we had this encounter, this guy, uh, right? The, the, good, the good Marines with those bad Marines with the kind of octagon shape uh, spacecraft that then disappeared, okay? And um, now, you know, you, you, you know, uh, and it was with uh, trafficking, tra it was uh, human trafficking uh, because they saw the equipment that was loaded into those uh, spaceship spacecraft and it was anti-gravity, right? And then a speed uh, beyond the, uh, faster than the light. So this is what we've been dealing and I think there has to be somewhere or somebody or you know i am trying you know my best the thing is i never joined military but i said uh this uh my soul sibling i guess uh wanted me whether for breathing or children right that all these sex games for being a sex slave maybe on mars or moon right 
and then the military abduction, harvesting eggs, how this hybridization, and because of me, highly advanced nature, I can kind of cloak myself, decloak myself. I already had a technology that that was not possible for them to do what they wanted to do. They have a technology, they can open a wormhole and they suck you there. And that's also what happened to me. And like I mentioned in these recruitments, what they do in the astral plane, right? Whether they're cracking your skull and uh, they just totally invade your space, your chakra or energy field. And in that mental institution, right? They they were just uh, totally trying to destroy me, get rid of me, right? Um, and they probably poison me even more. Um, they give you all kinds of injections and, and and so on. They just that this is what they do. And um, let me see what else I wanted to. There was some other thing that they've done to me, but um, we had there's a cloning. They have a cloning technology. And those guys, they're usually they're on steroids. They usually look good, you know, in their bodies uh, because they have uh, there is um, what they call it, you med beds, you know, that they it can re regenerate their organs. And they have a mind slay technology. But thing is, they can never emotionally and spiritually really heal. They need to grow up. They need to claim their power back because there is technology they can even hijack their soul, right? And it has to do with the CCP stuff going on, you know, the uh, the Nazi ruling, the graphene, oh, right? So it's in there, uh, and that's that's why I would never ever recommend to be uh, intimate with those guys. I mean, me as a starseed and who see energies, right? But those guys are being horribly treated. And, uh, you know, but I'm saying there needs to be a huge big re-education. Um, the recruitments, this all needs to be pretty much redone, right? And again, not everybody's on that level, okay? But it's time to, even for those guys, um, fig fig start figuring things out. And uh, some of them are star seeds, there are light workers uh, or, star, um, you know, galactic warriors, even from Mars, right? And so, because this young gentleman who lost his limbs, right, uh, the Mr. President came to that uh, hospital in Germany and, <laughs> oh, Mr. Uh, Joe, right, what do you want? That was, that was the only communication with this young guy who suffered so much and who they were left there alone without any proper leadership and instruction what to do in these situations and those guy can figure these guys can be easily leaders right this young lady this young guy uh they're only 25 years old it's uh, you know staying in christ um you know i mean she's eucharist i mean catholic church okay the faith the, everything giving to christ get giving to god this is the only way how to save um whether America or, you know, the military, you know, through these highly advanced beings who experience horrible things and how things are not okay and how um, so there are so many wrong things happening, right? And these also, this guy in an army or the Marine, right? If you then do not come, you're trying to tell them the, the truth. Instead of that, they are harassing you, right? There's the helicopters above them, and this guy lost his father, right? For me, the father was um, uh, probably attacked, and you know they use again all kinds of uh, you know weapons there. So, you know this needs to be there's some. Um, that's why I have the project for DARPA. So I'm dealing with those black magicians, right, with the DARPA because I want to help veterans. In order for me to help veterans. Right with the project, and that's you know what I came. <laughs> I came with the project back in um, the summer of 2009, and when I was trying to talk to the the um, the military bases, that's when I start getting hit more and more. There is no answer, uh, right? And really, then 2010, I've been constantly being hit and backlash, and it's just like Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy. Where is this coming from? Well, negative aliens. Right, their agenda and their highly advanced technology, and so that's how I know it through, um, you know, my experiences. Also, those guys they need to understand 
that after World War II, right, there was a project paperclip. This Nazi came over here and infiltrated the entire infrastructure. But before that, you had already in 1930s, these treaties, whether with Congress or, you know, there was the Zetas and the Dra Dracos, you know, or Drax or the Anunnaki. Well, the Anunnaki, I mean, that's, they've been here for quite some time, right? Um, that, you know, the, 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 the military, right, they have these highly... Um, advanced technologies including like the laser uh, guns and including all these sniper guns people think come from government no it comes from whether aliens or ETs right so that needs to be educated uh, that needs to be educated but um, the treaties right and and so the abductions and all this experimentation was pretty much allowed through the treaties in 1950 right like I said, Dwight Eisenhower warned about the danger of military industrial complex. And um, so uh, the my labs, the military operations and so on. I think, you know, inner work, incension, going deep within, meditation to me and surrendering everything to the divine. I mean, this is kind of, I can only be an example and only share what, you know, I've been going through what I've experienced, what in the world this is happening, right? Like even the history, okay? Uh, like for example, Tesla, he already lit up Chicago in 18, uh, 18 uh, what is it, 94 or something like that. Then you have these, um, um, these um, uh, doctors, right, in the United States where they came from Germany and they, they knew how to heal cancer right they had cure for cancer 1920s look what happened to them when they're tortured in prison okay then you have the um the crash the stock market crash right in in, in united states um uh so all the gold was taken away from people and before that actually there was the um what is the, the cartel, the, um, uh, you know, meeting at the Jekyll Island, how you call it, the Federal Reserve, right? The Federal Reserve and the, the whole central bank and how they're in charge of every the, the bent banking cartel. That's why, guys, I have everything on this new earth jurisdiction. Again, I, I a little bit rewarded it, redone this. But um, I didn't put any hyperlinks there, but you can, you can Google and start making sense that, you know, time to exit the matrix, you know, time to be educated. This whole wars are being propagated, right? The elite, they are serving these guys, right? And Draco and Anunnaki and even the, from the Wisa system, again, you can study um, let me see, do I have it here? The Wisa deck, Wisa Drek. These negative aliens, the MK Ultra, the Arconic structure, what is Arconic Deception, okay? Uh, everything, guys, you can just go here and hyperlink and start educating yourself. To me, like, I, I when I'm educated, when I'm in the know, and of course in the now, when I'm doing the meditation, oh, so that's what I came here for, right? Or what is my mission? Like, what is my mission? Why did I come here to this planet? What in the world is this is all about? And through the Galactic Codex, I've been doing the inner work, the Galactic Codex, I have the right for ascension. I have the right to be abundant. We have free technology. And like I said, for those guys, right? There's a technology can regrow their limbs, okay? I have the right to meet my um, soul family, my star family, you know, my galactic family, my soul siblings, even on that monadic level. I have the right to also reunite with my hybrid children, right? So that's why... Um, instead of spending how much of this money was spent on war, right? That's actually the Taliban just taking over anyway. It was um, $8 trillion, right? We could have uh, beautiful uh, yoga centers, Ayurveda restaurants. I'm, of course, not everybody's interested in this, but, um, you know, just kind of creating peace, peace and uh, free energy, Okay, where people can um, kind of be inspired by nature and, you, you know, kind of stick to their passion. What is your passion? What you really love to do? This is the key. Even though we are being attacked, it's not easy. I have to do a little bit of my part-time job, right? And there are all kinds of dynamics going on uh, there as well. So I have to neutralize these energies. I, I go to the beach, right? I meditate. I pray. I do some chanting, Japa Mantra meditation. We are connecting to that crystal, crystalline grid because that's who we are. We are crystal, crystalline beings. 
we're not that 666, the carbon-based kind of DNA. That's not how we were originally designed. Again, I talked to my, for my uh, group and for my guardian race, okay? Uh, and coming from Christos founder races, the solo dragons, kings and queens, right? Not some kind of uh, ape and coming from a cave, right? No, that's where yogis go to meditate, to kind of contemplate, to embody the entire cosmos we are the microcosm of the macrocosm right and me also like i came over here to study buddhism that's why i went to ashrams i um you know i went through like at least three ashrams the one in florida i went three times right this is kind of my lifestyle right cooking ayurvedically doing yoga meditation i'm not going to be there with some with these guys so the the bad marines or you know in the steristic organizations uh watching porn and being on steroid and uh, having sex 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 game this is not my lifestyle don't make something out of me i am not even i had an office there in saint mary's who knows what those rumors were about what i am doing there okay so time to be master of your life of your sexual energies time to deprogram cleanse your aura energy field right drain the swamp i have the project for you i i had that project since 2009 to 2010 right for the military for the veterans for my soul group for the for the young generation again in order to come through i have to go through the power structure right the high echelon the darpa with their highly advanced technology. So I'm dealing with negative aliens, right? I'm dealing with Dracos. I'm dealing with the Anunnaki, right? This whole reptilian kind of arachnoid, archon kind of structure. So uh, that's part of the quantum manifestation, right? And so there are lots of conflicts and I, well, lots of inner, I, I had, I, I, I might still have some inner conflicts because sometimes I really don't know what to do. Right? I don't know who is really like watching my videos. I cannot really go much far with this. You have to be careful what you're talking about, right? I mean, I can maybe make it a rumble, but that's only 10, 15 minutes. That's what I'm allowed to, okay? So I am going through, uh, well, I, I feel okay. I'm very happy. I'm going to the beach, beautiful a day, you know, sunshine to library to maybe make more hyperlinks. But they're like, you know, kind of obstacle after obstacles. But I'm telling you, we're becoming more fluid, right? We're doing the meditation. We're doing this whole healing work. The Galactic Codex, the Law One, so important to align yourself. You're raising the frequency vibration, and that's how we connect to our star family, galactic family, right? Andromeda, I mean, that this is the energy that I am channeling. So there are some, you know, like obstacles, difficulties, but from within, the kingdom of heaven is within. We can transcend. We can make a difference. And again, I'm just kind of sharing my path with you and speaking my truth the way you interpret what i'm speaking then becomes your reality it's your world right because you're interpreting through your senses uh you know this is your kind of your filters you have your own perception of uh, or how you view world right through your own perceptions or five senses or maybe third eye open i don't know decalcifying the pineal gland i mean this this is your technology and that's what happened when i uh, made that video I posted it the next day I was again again kind of contaminated targeted right we have beautiful drones here with directed energy weapons and like I said this has been going on at least since 2009 we're in 2023 okay 2023 those guys they were told they informed they were warned they need to stop and I have a project for the military okay uh, for the DARPA for those young veterans, especially for MC, right? Because you have to be also be very careful. They're very sensitive. Who is, you know, who is army, who is MC, who is Navy, you know? Uh, so again, there is all these interesting rules. Yeah. And, you know, just kind of military structure and military mentality, you know? And again, me introducing yoga to military. It's, it's a t and plus, I was not born here. Right? We had students on the street overthrowing um, a communism, okay? We were supposed to be under Russia forever, which is actually not bad, you know? We, the whole Cold War and this whole, you know, 
uh, the Vietnam War, right? The Korean and then Kuwait and so on. Guys, this is all instigated, right? By these black magicians, DARPA, whether visible, invisible, world, human, non-human form. And then you have the high-ranking military officers, right? You, you know, uh, or, you know, in politicians and so on. And they're just, instead of being for Christ, doing the inner work, being a warrior monk, right? The part of the cabal, the mafia, mafia diablo. So again, Spiritus Sanctus, right? You're either... Semper Fidelis Spiritus Sanctus or Mafia Diablo because there is a bifurcation of consciousness and even in the military and even specifically in the Marine Corps, right? Which is to me Marines under the Law of One, under the Ashta Command, the Ashta Galactic Command, um, serving the One, right? In Christ, the Christos Templars. So this is kind of platform that I am building, okay? Um, that I'm just putting out there. It is, um, you know, it is global. It is galactic. And we are uh, multidimensional beings of light divine. Okay. Our blueprint, divine blueprint, this crystal crystalline technology, right? The plasma light frequency. That's our aura energy field with the diamond crystal crystalline heart. That's how we were originally designed. And we're going back to source. I was told, as, as, and I was, I was Yana, right? I was told... By Solar Rishi, right? Solar Rishi, I was told we're going back to cosmos. We're going back to um, the original of the original, original divine cosmic order. That's what we are bringing here, the cosmic order here. This all needs to be Piristroika, like Mikhail Gorbachev and um, uh, Ronald Reagan, right? They were talking in 1980s and he got hijacked. Everything that came like, oh, now, you know, we're figuring this out and they come with their new world, -ra -ra -ra, right? And it's just read the energy. It's time to read the energy. It's time to meditate, cleanse your aura, be spiritually selfish. Um, very important. And um, I don't know, there was another message I wanted to, I wanted to talk about, but... Guys, uh, you know, time to really awaken from this computer. Yeah, the, the, the wars, it's a computer simulation. Guys, they, they're in virtual realities. And they're those guys, they have um, the opportunity to awaken, right? Connect with their heart, with their soul. They can see that this is all wrong. This is nonsense. And of course, you know, speaking about the Taliban and the ISIS, like, in you know, there was infiltration of the ancient Egypt. Those are goddesses, guy. Isis, she's she she is a incredible being, right? Of of light divine, the goddess Isis and Sekhmet and uh, uh, how you call um, that's what I connect with. Um, I'm sorry, but the the negative aliens or the cabal or you know that this kind of the structure they're inverting they're totally perverting even the names of divine goddesses like the one of egypt that was perverted version of the pantheon right the black magician alistair crowley i mean this is the kind of their work so anyway but yeah but what is also happening when those guys get all this awakening what in the world who i'm dealing with some kind of clone coming to hospital and asking me what do you want right there's no platform for them. So that's where I, I'm coming from, That where I want to interject, right? I made some wrong decisions. There was this military guy, right, in a, in a school of massage. I would not even trip over him. Oh, my God, the aura, energy field, oh, so dirty, filthy, right? But in a couple of months, this guy was like a sunshine. I'm like, yeah, man, what in the world is happening? I thought he's meditating and all this kind of thing, right? And then, of course, you know, you get involved. And then you're not interested anymore, right? Because all this control manipulation, I'm not interested. And there's nothing but revenge. Well, time to surrender. Time to accept Christ into your heart right this young lady she's they need repentance and conversion back to light divine and that's how we're going to make a difference uh one by one you know doing this work individually right and even those guys in the military they need to start having you know spiritual protection around them surrounding to to source to god to christ pray to miss meditation again become a warrior monk 
And like I said, I came here, I went to study Buddhism. I went to a couple of, um, oh, there was a monastery also in uh, North Carolina, but I went to also these ashrams and I was not that happy. It, well, it was, it was okay, you know, the Ayurveda and so on, but we need, we need to now expand. We need to become galactic. We need to really come back to our true original essence who we truly are. And um, that's kind of my um, intention or my goal, my mission, my assignment. And um, trust me, I'm trying to do my best. It's not easy. And I hope at least I'm, I will inspire you, empower you uh, to also be a spiritual leader and to break through right all these barriers and to exit the matrix and um, feel your true divine essence, multidimensional. You're, we are multidimensional beings. You're having a human experience and we came here to make a difference. So many blessings and namaste. I'll talk to you next time.